Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra Space Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. In the previous episode, we spent half an hour failing miserably. Let's just do the same thing again. Let's press new game. Let's play. Press play now. See what we get. Our mistake in the previous episode was trying to craft... We needed to craft an early game weapon, which is usually the knife spear. Please load faster. There we go. Um, but we didn't bring the materials that we needed to use to the place where we needed them to be used. Uh, I already have a bite wound. I am surrounded by a zombie horde. And I appear to be in a house. I have a marker and a book of poetry because I am Wayne A. Arthurton, a male teacher with reasonable strength, poor dexterity, high intelligence and perception. So we really, really, really super really need to clean this infection uh, as a uh, I, I look very very sick that's not very nice so we're going to go all around me and I'm going to go inventory I'm going to sort by category and sort by category and we are going to look for a first aid kit or some disinfectant or anything that means that we will survive a little bit longer than we are likely to given the fact that we have started which is a bit rude with um, almost certain death so there is a zombie in this house. I do not consider this run to be anything but doomed. <laughs> we shall see. What is this? Toastums. Uh, a hump from the west. My torso aches, obviously. We could eat the ice cream. <laughs> there you go. Now I feel better. I'm in moderate pain, presumably from my infection. Uh, let's kite this zombie. Start running. Kite this zombie around this table and close the door. Stop running. Vinegar. Can I apply the vinegar? No. This is a problem. Uh, I'm guessing that there's things down there. There's a zombie dog here. What's this? A toxic waste dump. Oh, perfect. This is what we needed. Yeah, toxic waste dump. Right, okay. Let's try this house. Um, I'm just going to turn safe mode off because there is no way we're ever going to be safe. So let's leg it. I see there is a minefield in the next tile. This might be a good way of killing a lot of things. How big is the tile? I actually think the minefield is to the south. So smash that window, run around. We've got a blanket. Please, somebody have. I mean, the screwdriver set is really helpful. I'll yeah. ignore it. Yeah. Um, but, not right now. I'm a bit busy looking for not dying type medicines. Run. Help. Close. Good. Please be some in the kitchen. There's a frying pan. There is. I mean, there are many things we can use to avoid certain death, which is what we are. Ooh, yes, let's take this lighter. Um, difficult as it may be to consider that a lighter could be helpful to us right now. We could, for example, set fire to this house. <laughs> it has nothing in it for us. Uh, let's see what happens. Let's activate this lighter here. There's nothing to light there. Activate the lighter here and then run away. Oh my Jesus, what are these? Feral runner, okay. So now we drag everything through this fire. Activate the lighter again here. Uh, no, ignore. Ignore. Uh, I'm stuck because this room has no other exit. What is this? Okay, fine. Help, help, help. Am I still running? No, let's start running. We'll just keep running around this building until it catches fire. Yes, good idea. What are these things? These are dogs. These are dogs, right? Okay. Now I know what dogs look like. That's good to know. Um, please continue burning, by the way. Still on fire, but the house hasn't caught fire yet. That's a problem. The other thing we do is like run away. <laughs> Try and get somewhere else. What is this? That is a grass. That is not grass. There's a crawling zombie there. Okay, right. Um, that explains why it looks like a, a zombie is there. I just have to keep running. There's nothing I can do here. Activate the lighter 
Here. Mm, ignore. Run. My hearing has gone bad. My... I, th I presume the blood is pumping through my ears and I am in a terrible way. Just keep running as much as you can. I'm running really low on stamina, but here's the fire. The fire is caught. Let's get in there. I don't think I'm going to survive. No. Yes. It's all over. <laughs> it wasn't even a hope in hell. No, don't even bother. Stop something. Oh my goodness. So, starting with a disease is nonsense, and I hate you. Let's try that again. Please give me a run that we can at least win. And I know the previous run, not the previous, literal previous, but last episode, we could have won that, I'm sure. Uh. Okay. We have crashed a helicopter. So we are Simon Thorson Holt, a male and military recruit, which means we're probably going to have some decent stuff with this. A pair of air clubs, perfect. And an M40A, M4A1 plus one. I don't know what the plus one means. But it does mean that we have a weapon. We are wearing our weapon. You can do that uh, if it has a strap, basically. Um, we have a rifle strapped to our back, basically. I'm assuming the plus one is a mod. mod it's got a shoulder strap. Uh, page down, by the way, does this. I, I don't know what the plus one means, but at least it means that we have some... Maybe plus one means there's one mod on it, which is the strap. Um, we have some opportunity for not dying. So there's that. I lose some blood. Um, I, I really need to not be bleeding, but I'm not hugely badly off because I'm not immediately... Um, infected. Infection is a problem more than bleeding is right now. I would also like to figure out no, we pick it. No, um, how to get? Yeah, there we go. Get items. A first aid kit and a plastic canteen. I don't know if we already have a plastic canteen. What are we wearing? We've got a tank top, a helmet, line, and a balaclava. So we're nice and warm. We've got socks and shorts, winter pants, and an army helmet. This is going to be really. This is a really good start for combat. Obviously, it is a military recruit. Military recruit. Uh, we have a sheath with a combat knife in it, which means we can use that for butchering, I think. Level 19 butchering quality, which is decent. Uh, a winter jacket, the gun, and some binoculars, which we are presumably wearing around our neck. We can also wear, W, the canteen. So, reactor. There's a reactor in here. We probably should have run away. <laughs> uh, sorry, I pressed W. Capital W is where I was wielding it. Small W. I understand when people say the um, the maybe the <laughs> uh, controls are a little bit awkward. I'm with you. I can understand that. It is somewhat of necessity. This is ultimately a console-based game, uh, and when I say console, I don't mean games console. No, I mean uh, the terminal of a computer, the the command line. It's a command line game. I found a rock. I might need it. The bird wreckage's reactor died again. Okay, good. This is a fine thing because first of all, we stopped bleeding, and I didn't need to use my um, first aid kit. Secondly, we're in a forest. Theoretically, we could build a cabin out here, but I don't think we can do that whilst we're in intense pain with many broken limbs. There is a hotel, a oh, power substation. My mistake. Over there, but this looks like a greengrocer. Yes. Oh, woof, apparently. Um, best thing to do, I guess, because I can see no cabin, and I'm going to guess I would know about a cabin if I saw one. Oh, I could also... Can we read the map? Activate this. Cool. So now we've got this. <laughs> hey. Um, yeah, the controls can be a little bit complex. I use the numeric keypad to move around. Which is super helpful because it's intuitive. You've got nine keys ar sort of arranged in a, a moving sort of way, but when if you don't have one, like on my laptop, you have to use uh, the keys are Y, U, and I, H, J, K, L, and then B, N, and M, which are, sorry, Y, U, yeah, not I and M, so Y, U, B, H, J, K, L, B, and M, which are eight directions, and then the dot key, which is not even in that set, not even around there, is for waiting, but... <sighs> 
it's much easier to use the numeric keypad and that's kind of part of it because the rest of it is just a percent if you press percent you get all this <laughs> right attach this gun mod you can attach your knife to your rifle to use it as a bayonet i'm not going to do that you can use the binoculars to start a fire quickly which i don't know if i'd call that quickly but there you go let's have a look at our um, stats we are not very good well <laughs> <laughs> we're not a clever person. We're going to have to do this somewhat differently. This is not a modified stat. Okay, um, this is our base stat because pain can reduce your intelligence. Oh, that is a modified stat, so we could be pretty good. Center, that was walking again. Yeah. Is she attacked? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why? You're not supposed to use it as punishment. You might need to die. Well, dogs in the doghouse. <laughs> um, that is a reduced stat. I assumed it wasn't on account of how it's not red. Uh, let's have a look. We've got four in rifles, which means we're very unlikely to miss if we, unless we're in a particularly bad way. Bartering donut, donut, donuts. Do you want a donut? Don't have any. Um, Bartering is. I don't understand the purpose of. Stop whacking the microphone! Of, um, <laughs> of skills that involve other people because NPCs basically don't exist and when they do, they're terrible and it's not a multiplayer game. Uh, dodging has, of course, two stats that I have yet to learn what the first one means, but you know. Yeah. Fabrication is good, marksmanship is good. Why are rifles and marksmanship separate? Difficult to use in close quarters. So as marksmanship is just the ability to hit things. Mechanics, that's a really good one to have for survival. And uh, piercing weapons it means I can use my knife. But survival is zero. So we definitely want to keep picking these. Uh, no, E. So I'll, I'll occasionally explain which key I'm using. That was automatic. I didn't use that at all. Whenever you see me do this, that's me pressing W instead of E. Um, because the keys are like right next to each other. Spotted giant dragonfly, which is, it has seen me, but it's tracking, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, yeah, I'm occasionally pressing the wrong key, but mostly I'm not. <laughs> this is why things are working. Uh, so I'm going to keep picking these undergrowths. You can tell which ones are pickable uh, because they're green, but only this particular shape has something in it. There's a specific sprite for pickable things. That's a small boulder. So other undergrowth, which is not pickable, has a different sprite. And if you've picked it, it goes grey, just so that you know. Uh, I'm not finding very much, which is fine, because I'm at distracting pain. I mean, just chill. You're okay. Uh, at some point, we're going to want to find somewhere to chill out, basically. Uh, survival is at 71% um, and relax and try and heal ourselves a little bit. You will heal if you sleep, although you can turn that off if you really want to. Uh, but which is probably what I'm going to do. Pick cattails, yes. That's what I needed yesterday. Well, in the previous episode, which wasn't yesterday for me or you. So we're talking about glass shards, not useful. Of course, I don't need the cattails today because I've already got a pretty decent weapon. But nevertheless, Cougar is ignoring me, which is how I like it. Please. Uh, oh, you have to pick them up. Cool. So, as mentioned, moving around with the keys of numeric style. That reactor keeps dying. My survival is not yet at one. I've been checking on the right hand side there to see if the logs are telling me something, but I've not been checking as often as maybe I could, so I just keep checking. That's uh, the at key for your player because in Rogue and other roguelike games on the terminal your character is represented by an at symbol so to find out about your character we press the at key if you were playing in the terminal in ASCII mode you would see that you could oh I haven't got enough space uh, I'll do that I am wearing not a army uh, backpack. And I didn't see one in the the fallen helicopter there, so but that's okay. We don't need all of this stuff. 
I'm picking these things to level up my survival skill, which is now at 99%. Because survival is going to allow me to not just create decent stuff. Uh, there's nothing there to pick up, fair enough. But also be better at creating the stuff I can create. So, where are we going? M for map. We need to make it through... We can make it to this power substation. It could be a good place to hole up, but there are likely to be zombie engineers or scientists. If I apply a knife as a bayonet, can I use the rifle as a ranged weapon? Try checking compatibility of non-gun mod. So that's not correct. Have we crashed? No, but did it work? No. <laughs> so I, I I guess I can't do that right now? I'm in mild pain and I'm hungry. Can I eat anything? Yes, but it will make me sad. I mean, I am a military type dude. I should be perfectly okay with being sad. <laughs> That seemed very dismissive, which was the point. But also, like, I should be trained somewhat in this survival, right? Can we stop with the long grass? It's really annoying. So I'm just going to sort of move my way up here in the hopes of... I mean, we could pick all this as well. There's no real reason not to. Um, because it will continue to level your survival, although, as you can see, much slower. I'm only on 2% from those, whereas... Previously, that much was uh, a really decent amount. Um, I don't need a can. So I'm pressing E, which is the examine key. You'd be forgiven for thinking X would be an examine key. X is also an examine key, but it's a distance examine. You see that? Uh, which allows you to not just examine the tiles. So if I press E and then 4, which is to the left, to the left, then it says you didn't find anything. But if I do it to the uh, these two sides where there's actually something there, and that, that's a bit of an obnoxious shape, um, it will perform that, that thingy there. And if I examine this one where there is a thing, it will give me a list of things to pick up. Uh, I <clears throat> Never mind. I don't really need any of this stuff, but it's nice to know that it's there. These will regenerate over time. What am I at now? 12%. See, all that just gave me 12%, whereas that much might have been enough to... <laughs> get me very close to the first level, but nowhere near the second level. You can also level it up by performing uh, actions from that skill, but getting to level two of survival early on can really help you out because it teaches you to cook stuff as well as how to make survival gear and things like that. Although I've started off with a really, really decent amount of gear, which uh, it's helpful, I have to be honest. That is a chamomile. That is a tree trunk, which is a fallen tree. <clears throat> so the sound effect we're hearing lots of is the original sound effect for when something is slow to move over, usually considered to be when you're climbing over a, a fence or a countertop or something like that. It will um, make this noise. But now that they've introduced this long grass, every bloody tile is slow to move through. I have found the road. The other thing we could hope to find from a road by the way, is um, car. So we're going to have a bit of a... So there's a zombie technician. We've seen this, okay. I'm going to ignore that. For now, I'm hoping to find some form of food or drink because I'm very thirsty for some reason. <laughs> so we have now seen two zombie technicians, possibly three, based on the fact that I've had to press it apostrophe several times now. Um, <clears throat> let's wield the... Yes. Combat knife. So I can't... I have to be next to something to stab it with this. It's going to make it difficult. So what you want to do in a situation like this is first of all don't be seen so it doesn't matter. After that, or failing that, uh, can I open this lock? And I apply the knife to the 
No. The first thing we can probably make. Come on now. Wield this storage sheath. So I'm pressing S and then the direction and it will smash the door. You can see it's costing me stamina. There we go. Uh, and around me there is little. <laughs> I don't have room for this flashlight. Um, I was kind of hoping to find some food in here. It's okay. So I'm going to put away, I'm going to wield this um, sheath again and I'm going to wear this and draw this. Yes, there we go. So it kind of knows what I want to do so I don't have to do all the maneuvers myself but uh, at the same time it, it tends to happen that I do need to. can't believe I'm so thirsty. Um, you can't just drink water which I guess would make sense if you know how water works in the real world. If you drink water from like pools for example you end up sick because it's got bugs in it and it's got gross in it. Um, so you need to boil it somehow. <laughs> Spit a zombie. So we need to really be careful of not attracting any zombies that we don't have the means to deal with, which is all of them. So the only thing I'm thinking is the best idea is this grocery store. We could also risk just drinking from the... Why are we not moving? There's a crack. They are hostile, but they tend to ignore you. Um, Amigo, no, 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 no. That's up there. I wanted it to be near the crack. That's a problem. Um, it is possible to sort of worm your way between these baddies here. The zombie technician is following me. It may have seen the Migo. Let's wait around a little bit and watch it. I, I, I am aware that I keep changing my uh, my train of thought. But that's completely because things keep happening. So I'm going to watch this fight and see what happens. You'll see that they're chasing each other. I think that they will tend towards a direction because the Crack will charge in. By the way, I'm looking here. These two red dots are they. Um... It stops when I do this. When I move, it stops doing it. That's nice of it. Um, so as I press 5, which is just wait, you can see that the crack lunges towards the zombie technician and takes a few steps back, in which time the zombie technician follows the crack. Right? So eventually, they end up off the map. So I can start moving in this direction. And I'm looking in the upper left of the circle for that purple dot there, which is the Migo. What's this that's just shown up? It's a crow. I don't care about the crow. But I'm going to keep an eye on what... So if I pause for a while, just keep pressing 5, I get an idea of what the Migo is going to do, because I really don't want this Migo to see me, because then I'm dead. So uh, capital V, shift V, will give me a list of all monsters around me, or if I don't have any monsters, items and tab switches between them. So I can easily check to see whether anything's seen me because it will or is aware of me I guess because it'll have an exclamation mark on it. Let's see how our I'm unhappy but my intelligence has all gone up uh, although I'm still only at six. <laughs> is it because I'm unhappy? It just makes me slow. Unhappy makes me slow and I'm unhappy because I'm very hungry, very thirsty and I just crashed in a helicopter and everything hurts. Although I'm no longer in pain which is uh, a very good sign. It means I've managed to sort of walk it off basically. Um, it's military training for you. Although that military training did not provide me with any... Uh... You see, I can, I can consume that water at the risk of food poisoning. What is this? Chipped wood wall. Ooh, a barn. I guess we knew about it. <laughs> what is this? Public garden with zombies in it. Okay. All these have been explored. This is my old one. This is the same world. Oh no. <laughs> Why is this a thing? I didn't know this would happen, but apparently it reuses the previous world. 
So just south of where I hold up, there was the uh, a crashed helicopter. But I probably would have been able to. Actually, it probably wouldn't have been there because this character wouldn't have crashed until the previous character died. But this is where the previous episode was. So. No, don't step into a raspberry bush. We are going to try and avoid all the horrible stuff that befell my first character. And this time I have a knife, which may not be enough, but then again, it may be. And we're going to have to hope that anything that can befall my character can be overcome with a combat knife. It is a combat knife, a Labrador Mutt. It's tracking me, but it's not attacking me. Okay, so the safe mode will trigger for that, which is kind of annoying, but there you go. So we are in zombie territory. There's a decayed zombie and an actual zombie over there. So if we uh, turn off safe mode, it says press apostrophe to ignore monster. That works. You can press apostrophe to ignore monster. And we're going to keep pressing this five button here and watch them walk off the map and then keep going. So. I'm using the minimap down in the bottom right just to let um, monsters show up on the map. This zombie's seen me. How? Because it's right there. That would make some sense. Uh, okay. I wonder what this is. So uh, what we're going to try and do here is use these uh, piles of broken rubble to get the zombie to hurt itself. There's another one. Yes, but that's okay. So I'm running right now, which is the double quotes. And if the zombie steps on these, it will hurt it. And also, um, it will be slowed, which means I have the opportunity to get a stab in before it can make another move. This game is called turn-based, and I had a very long debate about whether it is or not. It calls itself turn-based. Um, but I disagree. <laughs> Examine vehicle. Military black box. Uh, the way it works is that there is a, an internal clock, much like Minecraft, where there are a certain number of ticks in every second. The only difference is that it's not running at real time. So, what's under there? I can't tell. A shrub. Um, the ticks pass when you perform an action. And the action itself costs a certain... Oh my god, look how many things there are in here. The action itself costs a certain number of ticks. For example, currently my speed is 81, which by some inversion means that it takes longer for me to move than it normally would. <coughs> Excuse me, and the base speed is 100, and that takes 100 ticks, which I think is like a couple of seconds. Um... The zombie hasn't seen me and it's getting dark. Oh. So, have you seen me now? Yes. Uh, as you move or perform any action, the time that it takes to perform those actions passes and everything else in the world gets to perform those actions, its actions, while you perform yours. So if this for some reason causes a problem like a zombie starts to approach you while you are eating you get the opportunity to uh, interrupt it wow I didn't expect that there's a whole bunch of stuff and there's just eat a caffeine pill um, so it's not turn based in the sense of a uh, 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 um, a tabletop game, basically. Let's have a, a few minutes. Just stop that thumping, <laughs> basically. Um, it's not turn-based in the sense of a tabletop game. Turn-based in the sense that there are a, a number of turns per second, but you spend more than one turn to do a thing, which is why it is not turn-based. It's time based it's just that the time doesn't pass until you do something all makes sense right if we can survive this night we will be 
on a home straight, I think. Now this is a good opportunity because it is dark. And I do not know why it is not dark over there. If I use the X key, I can see if there is anything causing light. It doesn't look like there is. So I don't know why this area is lit. This is possibly just because I've explored it. I understand. Oh, hello. Let's run a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to smash that. Please have something to eat. No. I didn't turn off filthy clothing again. Please remind me in the next episode. Or well, before the next episode so that it's not a problem. Um, why was I telling you about that? I can't remember. <laughs> it was probably important. However, I don't know right now. Therefore, we will move on. Oh, finally. Eat something. Frozen chips. The I think it was because I was talking about the... Um, Archery for kids. That could be good. The fact that you kite the enemies over a thing, so it takes them more um, time to cross the bush, and therefore you have the opportunity to get a stab in them. You have to defrost this bloody water and stuff. This is ridiculously hard now. I can't eat this root beer because I can't set a fire safely. Detergent. So I'm going to keep eating these potato chips even though it's making me more thirsty. What is this? Cooking on a budget. I mean what we can also do is have a look at these uh, vehicles here. This has got perfectly good casters so I'm going to grab this vehicle that was capital G and then the direction. So now I'm holding this shopping bag. I'm going to press my slash key. Instead of surrounding area, I'm just going to press D. And that is the grabbed vehicle. And then over here, which is tab and then A, this is everything around me. So I can take all the things around me and put them in the shopping basket. Shopping trolley basket. If I press comma, it moves everything. Perfect. Tortilla chips. So I'm in a pretty bad way because... I'm going to grab this one and just push it. There we go. And grab this one. Um, I can't drink anything because it's all frozen. But I can collect everything. So what I really need is just a way of heating up this stuff. And I don't know if they've balanced it at all, let alone well. Um, I hope that they have. But you never know. Because I need to find a drink that is not frozen or defrost a drink <laughs> then it's not going to happen it's not how this works let's uh, pick up these and this so if I can find a way of defrosting this stuff grand and I do know of a way of defrosting this stuff because we happen to know that nearby um, uh, an unfortunate previous traveller <laughs> look at that We'll explain that in a minute. An unfortunate previous traveller has um, perished in a house nearby, and the house happens to contain an oven. And we know of it. Here it is. Here is the house. We left through here. Left a zombie in here? No, but this is not the kitchen. So what we can do... Ah, perfect. Yes. Right. Take a breather. We are going to get some wood. Not like that. Ooh. Quench. Good. Yes. We're not going to immediately die. Uh, there is a can here. Okay, good. Uh, we are going to find some wood. Here's the string, strings that I should have picked up. Uh, let's, let's drop some more stuff in our trolley. Um, we don't need this or this or this or this or this or this. We're going to pick up this heavy stick and we're going to drop it. What's in here? Let's uh, move stuff around. So we'll use the slash key. We'll use the southwest, which is a refrigerator. It doesn't really need to be a refrigerator. 
I will move the stuff from the oven to the thingy, and then I will use my inventory, which is I, and put the heavy stick in the oven. Now I will activate, I can't use a pair of binoculars to set fire to something when it's dark, when I'm outside. We need a lighter, and the other character took it. Okay. I think we deal with this in the next episode. This episode has ended with a living character. This is promising. We are going to try and fortify this place. A sports drink. Oh, I can't eat it. No quench, no quench. Um, we are going to try and fortify this house against this horde that is around it, which is gone. We probably just don't know where it is. Um, this trail of shopping carts is simply because the last time we saw that square, there was a shopping cart in it. <laughs> we can probably use our meagre intelligence to expect that the shopping cart has gone away again, nevertheless. What is this? Inanition. What is inanition? And the joyful, tipsy, stupid, inanity? I guess we figure that out for the next time. We have survived some of this day. Thank you for watching. I hope you will join me in the next episode and we will see what the fate of Simon, Thors and Holt will be. Somehow the only survivor so far is a military person. It's probably kind of expected. It doesn't seem unlikely anyway. Uh, very sad that our intelligent person died, but we'll see what we can do with this loser. So, until the next episode, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, I hope that I'm not changing my subject too many times whilst talking, but you know how things is. And also, until the next episode, I'll see you.